A blessed day to everyone, most especially to my students from Pamantasan and Nunsod ng Pasig. Today, we will discuss our PEEP module. Forecasting in a supply chain environment. Forecasting is the business function that attempts to predict sales and use of products so they can be purchased or manufactured in appropriate quantities in advance. Forecasting is necessary part of the business planning process. Perhaps no other activities as much immediate and long range effect on the operations of the supply chain as forecasting. An effective forecast can dramatically improve channel-wide profitability, productivity, and customer service, and ensure competitive advantage. Effective forecasting is also fundamental to the well-being of individual enterprises and supply networks. Good forecasting assists companies to eliminate waste in the form of excess inventory, reduce shortages, miss due dates, lost sales, lost customers, and expensive expediting, and provide visibility to control capacity requirements such as land size, labor, equipment, and transportation. The various forecasting mod models available can be broken down into three types. The first type employs qualitative models that combine human judgment along with collected data. These techniques are best used when historical data are scarce or when developing aggregate forecasts. The second forecasting type utilizes quantitative models. In forecast development, quantitative techniques are best used when there exists historical data and when the relationship and historical patterns of this data are both clear and relatively stable. The forecasting models in this type depend on a statistical tool to extrapolate the probable future from the occurrence of the past. The third and the final forecasting type utilizes associative correlation model, focusing on long range forecasts that uses qualitative and quantitative macro measurements such as political, demographical, new technology, and other events to predict the future. Associative forecasts are employed to predict the impact of a disruptive technology, product or processes discoveries would have on the marketplace. The forecast development process is critical function that is guided by a sequence of steps to begin with, forecasters must be careful to define the overall purpose and goal of the forecast. The next forecast, forecasters will proceed to the selection of the proper types, techniques, and computerized model necessary to fulfill forecast objectives. The third step in forecast development is data preparation. Critical activities in these steps are auditing, data accuracy, the speed, and accuracy of forecast calculations and the urgency and length of time required for forecast preparation. The fourth step consists in gaining the consensus of the firm's management team. After this preparation step are completed, fifth, the forecast is executed or implemented. Forecasters can choose from a variety of forecasting methods such as simple averages, moving averages, exponential smoothing and regression. And the final step in forecast development is monitoring the feed feedback and performing appropriate action to maintain forecast control. In conclusion, much of the success of enterprise planning and decision-making processes depends on the formulations of accurate forecasts. Although 
it has often been said that nothing happens until a company receives a customer order. Unless the enterprise has developed sound plans that enable it to purchase the proper inventory, establishes necessary supply channels, and deliver goods on a competitive basis. The business cannot possibly hope to achieve corporate objective. In addition, forecasting permits firms to establish performance measurement for customer service, plan the level of total inventory investments, choose between alternative operating strategies, and develop assumptions about the ability of the business to respond to future needs of the marketplace. Once again, thank you very much for listening and hope that you have learned something today. Goodbye.